Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Uh, in this video, I got um, new how to make a steel wheel with out of 3D printer. So I want to show you right now. So I already make two wheels. I make this one and that one right there. This one I'm, I make to I just you know slide my phone right here so I can use like a dash panel. And this is the mold and then there's the other mold to make. So the only part I use for this one of 3D printer, it was my, uh, the adapter for my uh, Thrustmaster and the shifter because it's more detailed. But this one, this part you can uh, buy it in uh, uh, Amazon or eBay. So same with this one, the back too. Uh, so it's, you know, you can find all these no matter what, what kind of you have, if you have Fanatec or, uh, um, trust master and and this one I put this uh, cordless uh, me, uh, female because uh, I got this one already I had to uh, change this one I had to replace it because um, every time I turn my PC my wheel starts spinning and almost uh, broke already like the USB connector so that's why I decided to do this already do and uh, wheel the Mercedes one and I have to do in that one and the other one so you know I have to do all the stuff because I don't want to break anything and uh, and guys sometimes my stuff is not look that pretty because uh, I don't have, I have limit time but um the idea with this channel is just to give you a little push or the from from the idea so you guys make it make you can make it better and and nice you know like sometimes like me it's like work and other stuff is pretty limit I try to do my best to come with idea so if you guys help me to subscribe I would thank you so much for so now let's go and uh, I show you everything step by step all right guys okay guys before I'm gonna show you how to do the steel wheels I'm gonna show you this this is my next project for next week it's gonna be a, a seal belt tensioner, but this time it's gonna be more precision, more precision and more strong. Precisor or something like that, but it's gonna be way more strong than the other one mill I, I make. So you can see there, I got some servo control and two servo, and then I have a. Oops, sorry, I just my it's not ready because I'm my two cables touch each other. I got magnet here and then i have a a magnet switch so every time you get close both are gonna activate and when you let it go they back by itself so i'm gonna show you and and you're gonna see how this thing works it's it's, it's perfect <laughs> all right guys so let's keep going and uh, i'm gonna show you now how to do your own steel wheel okay guys so now we're gonna do this so i still use my 3d printer to you know to sketch all the this here so this is a, a real carbon fiber i want to show you so i leave the plastic in the back and i it's came with two cover plastic here so you i peel this one to make sure the um you know to to the pencil is gonna mark everything so i'm gonna do this so i don't have a, a printer so you can do this it's like I'll show you something real quick. So if you want to do the your own uh, this, if you want to do the, your own um, and paper, to you can you know it would be easy for you to do here. So you can go to uh, Thingiverse, and uh, I really apologize for this big mess I have here, and I clean it. I clean it sometimes, but it's like I always like doing something and I always make a mess. So it's. It's pretty hard for me to keep it this clean, but it's what it is. Uh, so you're gonna put uh, sim racing. Uh, oh wait, sim racing. That's a uh, thing thingiverse. So you're gonna find like different option wheels here. So now I'm gonna make this one. So if you have a 3D, uh, not 3D, sorry, a, a printer like a paper some machine or something, you can print in the, in the paper. Some guys they can put the files here, like here, right here. 
so you can download I don't have anything and then you can I don't know if you can see but you can uh, you know just do in paper and then you can paste here on the on the <clears throat> cardboard fiber plate so that's the one thing you can do um, you know so I, I wish I could have a 3d print uh, a printer I, I don't know why I'm inside 3d printer but uh, a printer so I can show you but now we're gonna use my 3d printer so uh, thing here so the thing I'm gonna do is just just mark everything you know nothing special just mark and I think the holes you should be leaving I mean it's up to you if you want to do the same thing sometimes uh, I just do it after but uh, I might do it here um, you know just to keep it uh, yeah a lot of my wheels I, I just change a lot of uh, different option there so same with the uh, with the screws I don't know if you, I'm gonna this one you're supposed to be you know like here I got five to put the adapter for the for the base but I might not do the same that's why I leave it clean and then I decide to just make extra holes and just yeah you know to just to leave the top plate into the base uh, so it look more clean so I don't know it's gonna be hard to you guys see here but uh oops I forgot to great to mark one place here so we're gonna do it again uh, make sure everything's lined up again so here got there here we go so I'm gonna do this right here because I forgot to do it here we go so I will recommend you guys to do this first so uh, after this I'm gonna cut it because from here you're gonna take the the mold from the back so let's cut this one and then uh, and once I cut I'm gonna show you how to do the mold to you know when you put the joystick circuit board or whatever you want to use to to button work and prop uh, and you know to work so I'm gonna use this blade uh, ceramic you can cut ceramic it's brand Diablo but you can find different brand doesn't matter or you can use a, a metal blade to cut the the carbon fiber see I tell you it's a big mess always having boxes and everywhere so but I need to clean because I don't I don't feel comfortable with like this so well all right let's keep going to cut this all right even outside got a mess because uh i always doing every time doing things so but it's no excuse to keep dirty oh man there we go all right let's cut this So it's over everything is cut and uh so everything any bad cut you can fix it with a file so no big deal so this is gonna be the face and and this is to get the back so it's no all right so let's go for a second step now okay now we go to step two so i make this mold i made it with the pvc but would be better if you make out of wood so it's two pieces right there I make one hollow and then I just put like the one solid in the top and and then I put together I used to like uh you can use super glue but after that you have to put uh use the uh, glue gun because you want to make sure you're gonna not have like no leak when you put the the liquid for the mold so now we're gonna test if you have a, a water leak just want to make sure because uh, if you know, it's going to be a mess. So, 
there we go. I got one side right there. Nothing here. So only one side. No big deal. We're gonna take care of that. I'm gonna put oh Jesus Christ. We're gonna put that in uh <laughs> Uh, so the way I do this, I'll show you real quick again. So in the piece of board, I use my uh, the face. That's what I, I was told before. You have to make the first. This is the first step because I I, I put it in like a, in the piece of uh, board, and then I you know I start mark everything. But I stop like right here, and this one stop here, saying here, and then this one count. Kind of, I was like I just mark to here. And mark to here same here and then just run a straight light i just not try i would i'll do this i was doing this at work so i don't have a camera or anything so yeah that's pretty much so now we're gonna go to step three okay guys so now we're gonna do the mold so i showed you before this one so we're gonna use this um uh, uh silicone mold so I'm gonna use this one and I'm gonna show you it's really simple and uh, so pretty much you, you need a you know to put like a half and a half they come with like this bottle so I recommend you buy the big one because the little one is not much so right here so you got A and B so every time you mix this pretty, uh, make sure it's gonna be half and a half so I got one, a big one here, and this is just like, this is full, this is probably like here, here. So we're gonna use this one, the big one first, because uh, before I do this, I, f I find like a container, so this one is gonna be like this, and I measure it with water, see how many cups we're gonna use, so pretty much it's gonna be two of those. So I think we're gonna mix this, and then, uh, uh, you know, show you guys. <laughs> All right, so let's gonna use first A. Uh, I'm gonna use my knife here. There we go. So it's gonna be the first one A. So I'm gonna use a cup. Pretty much right now is no problem because, uh, you know, I'm gonna use the whole bottle. So I know it's gonna be two of this cup to fill it up that. It's gonna be alright, we're gonna put this one here. Now we're gonna mix this one, hopefully will be enough. There we go. So oh man. I hope the other part is inside. No big deal. We're gonna make sure we're gonna find it after. It's no big deal. So we got one here, and then we're gonna mix it. Yeah, we're gonna mix really well. Because if you don't mix well, it's gonna be a problem to to dry it's never gonna be uh never gonna be drier so you have to mix it so this one is gonna take at least like three or four hours to get dry and then you're gonna see in the end how it's gonna look it's really nice it feels really nice too so when you touch it it feels really nice okay I think it will be enough See, it's still a little some part right there still not like mix it but I can mix here okay so now I'm gonna use this one this is a full bottle too well, You know, and once you uh, uh, 
make this, you can save the small to make other one. You know, like would be really helpful. Be easy. So, so this one is gonna the A is and B. The B one is gonna make the the resin harder. So it's gonna be different color too. Now it got blue. Before I got orange, so not no big deal. Already done it before. Mixing two in the same brain, just different color. Oh man, get on the floor. So right now I got three quarter of the cup here, but well, this one is blue. Oh, no big deal. Just throw it. But I forgot something. Ah, yeah, I forgot. Should be spray this on the on this thing. So when you pull it, it's gonna be easier. But no big deal. Okay, so should be good to mix this. Now I'm gonna spray this into the mold. So when you pull this one, it's gonna be super easy to to pull out of the the mold right there. So it won't stick on the that. Okay. All right, should be enough with that. So I'm gonna put this one right here. There we go. So might need a little bit more. Just make sure I pull it. So yeah, need a little bit more. So I got plenty here. I guess we're gonna use this one right here. Just remember, just try to mix everything half and a half. So that way you don't have a problem when you mix this. So. Let me see. I'm gonna put a little, I don't know if you can see right here, the bottle's not clear enough. Well, it should be, okay, right here, I see the mark on my finger, my finger there, so, there we go, put a little mark right there. number so we're gonna do more have a number B there you go Need a little bit more
that's it. Put this one right here. All right, let's mix again. So this product is not toxic, nothing. So I'm gonna put it in the description. You can buy it there on Amazon. So pretty good so don't try eat it because once it's this dry it look like a big piece of cake <laughs> so there we go Just make sure too, you know, like you're gonna have a space here. I don't want to get it like too close to here, because if you know, it's gonna, how gonna have, you're gonna have problem with the when you put the other stuff. And and try put something flat because right now you can see here. I don't know if you can see it, but right now here is is higher and this lower because uh, I got this here. The this board is not like level enough, so. You have to put like something really flat and level so that way everything's gonna be level and put something heavy here okay so now we're gonna show you once it get drier and then uh we go for the other step okay guys so this one took like a four hours to dry complete so Pretty fast. You know, just I think first we're gonna take the corners. That's why you need to put spray here, so you know how to fight with this. Go. That's it. Check this out. So, see, this one put spray on it, so it's really easy to to come off I think I need to remove the second part. Okay guys, so let me uh, remove this tab so I can push. I'll show you guys in a little quick. I just want to save battery for my camera. <laughs> All right, I'll see you soon. Okay, everything's come out pretty good. So let's make sure. Don't there we go. Okay. 
so here we go that's what we got here for the mold you can see right there so everything is perfect there so you can see in the back so got a little hole right there but that's fine because I'm gonna put it back in this one here so it's gonna back again here and then uh, I'm gonna uh, use the other stuff so now I'm gonna show you how to use the the sec uh, third one the the hard part okay guys so this one's already done um, so I don't want to show you all the process how to make this but it's pretty much is the same way to uh, make this the mold so but I'm gonna show you what the product I use for this so is this tabletop epoxy so I got it came like this one and this one so the same that's where you both are gonna mix it so and this I used this one before so I, before I put everything here I just spray and it's gonna be easy to pull this off so I'm gonna show you really quick see how easy everything come off so here's the only part is gonna be because there we go everything come really easy so that's it that's that's the mold right there so I'm gonna cut here so I can put my uh, secret board and then I'm gonna send it but I have to wait to this cure more because uh, it's supposed to be take 24 hours right now it's pretty hard but I mean some corners still like soft so all right so I'm gonna show you how to cover everything so it's gonna look nice and clean so all right let's keep going I like to show you the the circuit board so in this one you know I just run the cable on to into the button so you know I recommend you to find uh, first watch buttons for the light and then uh, watch buttons for for the power and I called my USB cable because um, I'm gonna put this uh, coil uh, cable because I have a problem before uh, every time when I turn my computer when the wheels spin I always pull my cable broke the other day almost broke my uh, computer but uh, so I find that way and here I'm gonna show you this is the case when uh, this cable I put it here is because um, that's where my shifter going so yeah I just want to show you this really quick and so far everything's look good now alright guys